welcome to Persian Radio and Television News. My name is Nifemi Unibio. First, a look at the headlines. Security agencies occupy Abuja venue as IG organizers disagree. The Tigress beats Australia at Olympics after 20 years. DR Congo accuses Rwanda of jamming flights. And now full details of the news. Soldiers, policemen and other security personnel has occupied the popular Eagle Square, Abuja venue of the Edbad Governance protest scheduled to be held in the Federal Capital Territory and other major cities on Thursday. According to reports, over 300 security operatives were counted at the facility. Also, 26 military vans, 12 police patrol vehicles and a black maria were parked within and around the arena. Report says security forces took over the square as the Inspector General of Police, Kayode Egbetokun, and the protest organizers disagreed on the mode of conduct of the demonstration. The Global Rights and Other Frontline Civil Society Organizations in Nigeria and around Africa has reminded the Nigerian government that the right to peaceful protest is a pillar of democratic governance as constitutionally guaranteed. The association said this ahead of the planned nationwide protest slated for the 1st of August 2024. This was contained in a statement they collectively signed. A nationwide protest has been fixed to begin from the 1st of August in Nigeria and there are discussions within the government surrounding the appropriateness of citizens expressing their dissatisfactions with policies and actions of the current administration. The civil society organization said it was compelled to reaffirm that peaceful protest was the fundamental right of citizens. And now let's dive into the world of sports. The Tigers of Nigeria have defeated the Opals of Australia in their first match at the ongoing 2024 Paris Olympics. The Rena Wakama led ladies pulled off a spirited performance to beat the Australians 75 62 at the Perry Moha Stadium. The victory was the team's first win in an Olympic match since Athens 2004. And on the international scene, the Democratic Republic of Congo has accused the Rwandan army of jamming satellite navigation system affecting civilian flights in the conflicting its east of the country. It said Rwanda, which borders DR Congo, was interfering with aircraft global positioning system signals through jamming and spoofing a type of cyber crime that involves creating a false identity or impersonation. The government added in a statement that this posed a significant risk to both commercial and humanitarian flights, bringing in essential aids for victims of conflict. However, Rwanda has not yet responded to the allegations. Up next is the entertainment news. Legendary Nigerian singer and actress Onyeka Onwenu has reportedly died at the age of 72. She was said to have died on Tuesday night at the Redentine Hospital in Lagos after slumbing at the birthday party of Mrs. Stella Okoli, managing director of Enzon Phar Pharmaceuticals. However, the deceased family is yet to announce her death as of press time. And with that, we end the news today on Persian Radio and Television. My name is Nifemi Onibio. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Prison RTV. Also, to get the latest news, visit our website at www.prisionnews.com. On behalf of the production crew, thank you for staying with us. And don't forget to keep shining like the star you are.